hello my friends so today we are going to learn how to measure the electrode potential we know uh, for every measurement we need a reference with respect to which all measurements are done like for uh, measuring the distance we require meter for measuring the time we require seconds so like that uh, to move for measure the electrode potential we require one reference so that with the help of that reference we can do a measurement of any potential so even in electrochemical cell the tendency of a substance to gain or lose electrons when ions are in contact and that tendency is expressed in terms of electrode potential or if you take uh, at 25 degree centigrade it is called a standard reduction potential or e naught of cell to measure this uh, reference okay we are using one reference that is called hydrogen electrode hydrogen electrode is uh, chosen as a primary standard for measurement of electrode potentials so here we will study the reference electrode and how we can determine the electrode potential so what is reference electrode so experimentally the absolute value of a standard reduction potential is difficult to determine this you have to remember so absolute value absolute value for any reduction potential is very difficult but potential difference between the two electrodes remember the potential difference between the two electrodes it can be uh, measured accurately by a voltmeter this is possible but this is very difficult so if you know the electrode potential of one electrode if you know the electrode potential of one electrode then we can uh, others can be easily calculated so electrode with respect to which all the measurement of electrode potential are made that is called as reference electrode i hope you have understood so accurately it is maintained potential this reference electrode is accurately maintained potential what are the characteristics of this reference electrode it should be stable and well known electrode potential so we should know the electrode potential value that is a standard value is known and it's very reactive the electrode must be very reactive and it is non polarizable that is the change the charge can be moved into and out of the electrode the charge can be non polarizable the charge can be moved into also and uh, out of the electrode without changing its potential or you can say it has a capable of showing the oxidation or reduction as per need reference electrodes so there are uh, different type of electro uh, reference electrodes the one we will study that is primary reference electrodes hydrogen electrode is primary reference electrode and it is assigned an arbitrary uh, zero value in standard state standard state means the unit activity of reactant product solution so it has one value and atmospheric pressure if you are using the gases so it is one atmospheric pressure at temperature 25 degree centigrade so you can see this diagram also here is one diagram this diagram uh, i have drawn uh, this is a uh, glass so hydrogen gas is passed this is the platinum wire and you can see at the end of platinum wire uh, there is a platinum it is coated with a platinum black this is a dark black is a platinum black is coated why platinum black is coated because it will absorb a large number of hydrogen gas so this is the hcl solution and 25 degree centigrade one molar solution so this can be your uh, nhe like a uh, hydrogen electrode and this is your SHE so both is there these two electrodes are hydrogen electrodes and uh, why platinum is used because it is an inert metal to get the electrons in and out okay so let us see the uh, uh, standard hydrogen electrode or normal hydrogen electrode so it is also a gas electrode is there it is consist of platinum wire you can see it is a piece of platinum foil here is it's covered with a finely divided platinum and this serves as a inner surface for the reaction around the hydrogen gas is bubbled here hydrogen gas is bubbled and electron is partly uh, dipped in an acidic aqueous solution one more h plus aqueous solutions so this solution is h plus solutions and uh, h2 like hydrogen gas is continuously going through it uh, bubbled through the solutions uh, to maintain one atmospheric pressure at 20 kelvin okay so by definition we can write e naught of rp is 0 volt and oxidation reduction of normal hydrogen electrode it will occur at uh, platinum foil so we write like this expression platinum h2 and p atmosphere and this is the bar and h plus and activity this is equal to x so it is a potential at which the platinum surface depends upon the h plus activity of solution so h plus depends and platinum hydrogen is uh, what you use it is used to saturate the solution so uh, if you are using the hydrogen electron at anode so hydrogen will convert it to h plus ion 
uh, one molar concentration is one atmospheric pressure activity is one so at 25 is centigrade e naught will get zero and it will split into the reaction will be half reaction will be this one and second if you're using as a cathode so this will be your h plus uh, molar concentration one atmospheric one platinum and 25 is centigrade e naught will again zero and here uh, from the solution h plus will convert into your hydrogen gas so this is the anode reactions in this case uh, e naught uh, that is hydrogen is depends upon the as gas pressure and exact concentration of h plus ion solutions in this case so what is the problem in this normal hydrogen electron so it is uh, problem is that it is very difficult to maintain the unit concentration of h plus ions uh, is very difficult so h plus ion is one mole concentration maintenance is very difficult and second is it is very again diff uh, difficult to maintain the one atmospheric pressure of hydrogen gas so this is also very difficult one atmospheric pressure and one concentration throughout the studies and third if hydrogen gas is poisoned then what will happen if traces or impurities are present then this get poison so these three are problems occurring in the case of hydrogen electrodes. so we require another type of electrodes that is also a reference electrode let us see you can see the diagram of uh, hydrogen electrode this is the platinum hydrogen gas going inside excess hydrogen will goes out from here and hydrogen gas pass it to maintain the over atmospheric pressure this is the whole solution this is the platinum foil and this is the another diagram this is, you can see here so this is the hydrogen gas uh, real pictures is there it is a bubble through a platinum you can see here electron is passing and you can see the bubbles and this is a small area of platinum hydrogen gas is outlet uh, you can see the very reactions electrons are uh, gained by the s plus sign is converted to s2 gas so this is a half reaction at the platinum surface so this i hope this picture, picture will you uh, make you very clear how a reaction a half reaction takes place at a platinum coated surface and uh, this is another diagram in which you can see the uh, platinum is hydrogen electrode is connected with the magnesium wires and this is salt bridge so that we discussed salt bridge so it is acting as a anode in this case this is the connector with the uh, voltmeter temperature 290 kelvin and the pressure is one atmospheric so this is the connection between the here hydrogen acting as a anode and this is your cathode now we will see secondary reference electrodes already we have seen primary so there are many experimental difficulties involving the preparation and use of standard hydrogen electrode we have seen those difficulties like the maintenance of one atmospheric pressure then poisoning of hydrogen gas so we require secondary reference electrons to be used against the standard hydrogen electrodes as a reference electrodes so commonly these electrodes are calomel electrodes sg2 and cl2 and second is silver silver chloride electrodes this is made up of silver so we will discuss these two electrodes one by one what is calomel electrode so this electrode is easy to make and uh, maintain also um, you can easily prepare and also maintain as compared to standard hydrogen electrode this is the mercury, this is the Kaluma solution and this is saturated with the Casil aqua solution. You can see this diagram, this is the tube and this is connected with the salt breeze. And this solution, Casil solution, this is the platinum wire and this platinum wire is, uh, this is uh, HgCl2 and this is the mercury. A solid state, liquid state is there, this is the solid paste. And this platinum wire is totally dipped inside it. And this is the uh, porous class, Casil solutions. So it is composed of solid paste to Sg to Cl2, this one, and the liquid element attached to the rod. Here you can see this rod attached to this here. This is a platinum rod that is immersed in a saturated cassette solution. This is saturated cassette solution. Why this uh, cassette solution is saturated? Because uh, the cassette activity, the Cl ion is fixed to maintain the, uh, the Cl ion, or we can say exchange of Cl ion. So, and also voltage is lowered. So due to this, the voltage is very lowered. Is almost close to a standard hydrogen electrode. This calomel is almost close to a standard hydrogen electrode. That's why this uh, case solution is saturated to maintain the ionic strength. So all this is usually placed inside the tube and uh, that has porous salt breeze and to allow the electrons to flow back through and complete the surface. This is the columbal. So on accepting electrons, reduction takes place. So it becomes mercury and Cl minus is there. Now potential of the calomel electrode it depends upon the concentration of KCL solution. Now uh, KCL solution also it depends. So if you are taking the saturated solution KCL then saturated 
then it is called like the saturated calomel electrode but if you take the one normal then it is called as normal calomel electrode so concentration if you are changing was n by 10 then this is become uh, this uh, electron calomel electrode becomes your desi normal calomel and if calomel is acting as a cathode then uh, what is the reduction potential with respect to a standard hydrogen electrode so this will be for saturated solution it will be uh, defined value is 0.241 volts okay in case of hydrogen it is 0 and for one normal solution it is uh, 0.280 so this also changing 24 is increasing if you take 1 by 10 consider decreasing then the voltage also increasing this is the diagram of the columnar difference electron you can see so this is the columnar electron is the fiber and here sg2 cl2 kcl fg kcl solution as precious fiber kcl used to maintain the constant ion u strength and it is used uh, much is used with uh, work with because it has no gases produced so this is the another diagram uh, of the same columnar electrodes uh, mercury here hgcl2 is there this is the kcl solution and porous peak is there and this wire is connected to the potentiometer so this is another diagram next uh, secondary difference electrode is silver silver chloride electrode so this electrode is consist of solid silver and it is precipitated short HCl. You can see here this is the silver wire and this uh, wire is again coated with the silver chloride and this is saturated with the KCL solution. So this is the porous weak. Now why it is uh, used because it is inexpensive, uh, it is easily prepared and this is not toxic as the columnar electrode and it contains the uh, mercury. It is placed in a tube of uh, KCL and HCL, HCL solutions. So this uh, allows uh, this allows ions to be formed, the opposite as electrons, and which will close and in and out of the electrode system. So from electrode system, the ions electrons can flow to the CL, and it will can go inside the uh, KC AgCl solutions, and we can represent uh, this whole electrode as a Ag AgCl uh, solid KCl aqueous solutions. So electrode reaction is that if it is acting as a cathode. So cathode which will absorb the electron AgCl, AgCl will absorb the electron, so it will convert into Ag and Cl minus liberated. So we can write uh, by using the Nernst equation. So uh, EF of the cell will be E Ag by AgCl is equal to E naught minus 0 0.0591 log of Cl minus. When this uh, electron is coupled with uh, an unknown electron, so it is acting as anode. Anode means Ag plus Cl will convert to AgCl an electron. Okay. And uh, if you're using one molar solution, so it is volt is uh, 0 0.2 to uh, 3 volt. And if you're using saturated KCL, then it will be uh, 0 0.191 volt. So it is decreased. What are the enemies for AG AGCL electrodes? So it will um, so they prevent from the ultraviolet sunlight, other, otherwise, AG cell will decompose to give you silver plus chloride, and electrode becomes black. If you use the base, so silver will become your base solutions. If you use the 0.1 molar OH is used, so it becomes your base again, uh, the electrode is wasted. We should not use ammonia because ammonia will make a, a complex with the silver and the AgCl will dissolve. It becomes your precipitate. Sulfur should not be used. Sulfur use becomes your silver sulfide. It becomes your insoluble substance. So these are the problems with the silver silver chloride electrodes. What is the application? It is used as an internal reference electrode in class electrodes. It is one of the electrodes in which is used as an internal reference. It is used to determine the uniform potential distribution in an oil pipeline and sieve hulls. It is used over there as a uh, uniform potential distribution. And uh, last, uh, third, next other uh, application is it is used for prevention of corros corrosion, in which it is acting as a uh, cathodic protection corrosion. So we will use uh, many places. There are so many applications are there. So these are the one of the important application uh, for uh, silver silver chloride electrode. Now let us see a diagram. So you can see this uh, silver silver chloride electrodes. This is the silver is there, and you can see here you can very clearly AgCl. You can see over here on the surface of the this rod. This is the KCl saturated solution, three point five mole per liter. And here you can compare with the saturated calomel electrode and silver silver chloride electrodes. So what is the difference? You can see this is KCL solution both common uh, in both the cases common. Here we have used the Ag2 Cl2 calomel. Here we have used the silver wire coated with the AgCl. 
fiber thick with the contact with external solution here fiber so all are almost same only difference is uh, this uh, AG2, ag2a cell mixture this is the mercury and uh, calomel mixture here uh, silver y with the ag cell only this is the difference remaining thing is same thank you very much